Good morning, everyone. It's Rifgal. We're playing some more Lufia 2 Ancient Cave uh, on our quest for the Iris Treasures. We are down to floor 40. Outside of a deadly sword and a head jewel, we don't have a ton in the way of good uh, jelly kill items this time. We've got stronger and poison. So I am hopeful. that that'll be enough to at least get us deep in, deeper into the cave, get us to the, the opportunity to get some good loot, whether that is an Irish treasure or a blue chest item. Uh, we haven't really gotten any good ones yet. We have any great setups against these guys. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> it's a little annoying that these guys are faster than Guy and Dakar with some of the gear we have. If we keep running into them, I may end up having to switch Maxim's sword out. Oh! Well, okay then. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like we may want to switch out Maxim's equipment for this section. Uh, feels like he's coming up a bit short with a lot of these. I'm not great with knowing how the elemental stuff in this game works. But... I mean, the short version is... Guy and Dakar are hitting really hard on most of the enemies right now, and Maxim isn't. Clearly, fire isn't working very well. So let's go with Water Spear and uh, Sky Sword here, and I'm actually going to switch the car out to the Mega Axe. that both thunder? Yeah, I think those are both thunder. Never mind. I was hoping that we could switch him to something where it'd be less uh, of a problem. Okay, water's not any better against these guys, but now Maxim is at least getting a kill before they get to go. So we can at least one round them. That's good.
This is a pretty impressive party room. A lot of stuff here. A few more monsters than treasure, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to start looking into... ...getting that... ...deadly sword equipped... ...here. I keep hoping that we're gonna find a deadly rod... ...for Artie. Because I'd prefer that. I do just want to take a moment to say that little moment right there is one of my absolute favorite minor things that this game does that very few games do well. The fact that you can individually choose the targeting on your weapons is just such a neat thing that a lot of game. I don't understand why games don't do that. And it actually scales appropriately. So it's really easy to just say, okay, we're just targeting, like in this case, Artie and Guy with it, and they're gonna get the appropriate amount of life based on that. This is awful. Okay, I think we go straight on. And we're not fast enough to run. This is really bad. Go ahead and see if we can get these cores. We got one. We'll take it. Uh, green cores. This is the first floor with them. And we're already at level 26, which is our end goal for this. Which is probably part of the reason I'm running into problems is because we're actually at the recommended level instead of over. And we're deep enough that the... Oh, do we want to deal with Samurai, or do we want to deal with... I think we do that. Is the teleport coming in? Yeah. That's unfortunate. I can deal with one. Faster than everybody but Artie. That's impressive. And that should be a back attack so we can escape. What? Did both of them teleport to that same spot? They followed me.
Black Thunder is a little dangerous because it does have a chance at instant death. Um, it's a low chance because it's an AoE, but anytime you're getting a chance at instant death, it can be problematic. Doing a little bit of stutter stepping here because teleporters don't want to get surprised. <laughs> the worst part is that this is not that bad as far as enemies go. The good news is, uh, we don't actually have any loot worth taking out, so we don't just have to abandon ship quite yet. <laughs> like, the absolute worst is we end up dying, and if we do... That's fine. say I don't remember seeing the stairs. Must be up here I guess. No. Am I just forgetting? That's very possible. I do that a lot. Okay, so it must be down past the Hedora, like south of this section. Many green cores here. Uh, luckily, we did get enough levels already. But just hanging out at the door now. It just lives there. Okay. Still just lives there. Um, I think... I want to say that these things are weak to fire. Let's see if I'm right. I'm wrong. What's new? Well, 
Luckily, they are weak to getting hit really hard by Guy. Usually a reliable, uh, reliable plan. Topped only if I hit things really hard with the car, as long as you're willing to wait. <laughs> Another Berserk Blade. Not the cursed weapons we're looking for. Okay, um, that is Seraphico. They move mirrored to you? That snake snuck in. Zeppi, you coward! Those guys are kind of just cling to walls like that, so as long as they're not near a door, they're fine. We're in a narrow hallway. This might be it. We are up to floor 44, which has ninjas. Ninjas are extremely powerful. I just completely screwed myself as I was talking. Well, let's see if we can survive it, I guess. We do have good equipment. So the problem is they move two squares at once and they come straight at you. So regardless of what I do at this point, this guy is going to fight me. Now, my choices are I can move up, which means that he would move right two squares and there's a 50-50 on him getting a sneak attack. Or I just wait and go straight forward and because if I move back, he gets a sneak attack. If I move up, it's a 50-50. If I stay in place or move forward, then it's a direct fight instead of a sneak attack.
Well, Artie is faster than ninjas, which is not normal. So I just wasted that. That could have gone a lot worse, so we'll take it. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's another one here that we're probably gonna have to fight as well. Uh, I'm intentionally putting it off just to make sure that we've cleared as much of the floor as we can, which was literally just that one room. Because this is not only a nasty party room, but also has ninjas. And this gets into one of the really odd... That's a lot of ninjas. I'm very nervous right now. That one I wasn't worried about, just to be clear. Um, my hope is that because of the fact that we can get him from this angle, we can get some sneak attacks. The other thing I'm debating is whether this is the point where I just finally suck it up and equip the uh, deadly sword. Yeah. Did not get a sneak attack. They are weak to light. I don't know if Artie can one-shot all three of them, but he should be able to one-shot them one at a time like that. Knife Thrower is the real scary thing here because it does, uh... does a decent amount of damage to everything, and it ignores defense. See if we can kill two. Okay, this is doable. This is feeling doable. We're using a lot of resources, but if we survive, then it's a good use of resources. We also still have a lot more to go. This is a, a heck of a room. That's slightly annoying, so ideally I think I want to have... Oh, that's interesting. We may just be able to ignore that guy. Just to be clear, that was three attacks from one enemy.
Deadly Sword has a fairly good chance of instant death, uh, which is why we're utilizing it on Maxim. Uh, the Deadly Rod is better, which is why I was kind of putting it off. That guy's gonna dash at me, potentially. Nope. I am shocked. I am currently shocked. Like, that room looked awful, and we're still alive so far. We should just have to take out this, either take out this Brin's Lizard, which I'm going to try. They can be a little nasty, but we also have a chance to get a Twist Jewel from them, which I would like. We didn't get it. Okay, that ninja is now creeping closer. I think we're okay. Maxim did miss with the instant death there. But he gets to go before them. Perfect. I can't believe we're alive. Like, genuinely, that was a, a terrible room. But stuff like that is why it's so important to preserve your resources. Like, if we'd been blowing MP on every single fight or IP attacks on every single fight, I'm not gonna bother with that. Golems are awful. Uh, then we wouldn't have had the resources to deal with those ninjas. These guys hit pretty hard, but they only hit once, and they're not and they're not terribly fast. So I'm kind of hopeful that we can get a, use them to just get a little bit of experience here. It's honestly not ideal. We are starting to run a little bit low on MP, specifically MP items to actually get our MP back. Champion is going to be a little bit more efficient for uh, HP recovery sometimes. It's uh, the next tier up on sp healing spells. Yeah, we are getting to the point where I think continuing to move forward is probably valuable. 49... We're past ninjas. This is a boring one. Uh, one of the things at this point that would be good is starting next floor, we can we start getting into the red chests 
that can drop the items that we are um that can drop the items that were would be helpful for the jelly fight. Um, outside of the Dakar blade, which you can start getting at like floor 15. Um, the other stuff we're looking for, for is starting at floor 50. We can get Lizard Blow, Old Sword, Old Armor. Um, 60, we can get Myth Blades. And any of those will go a long way. I am impressed with how bad that went. Champion's a lot more expensive, but it is more efficient as well. Or not more efficient, more effective. There we go. Uh, most of the healing spells, the way that it works is the cheapest ones are the most efficient, which makes them the best out of battle and the worst in battle. is unfortunately full of undead, um, which are not great given the fact that Maxim can't fight them because of his deadly sword. Immune or er, undead are immune to instant death, and weapons that deal instant death do pretty much nothing to them or our automatic misses. That was worth it. Fifty two. Uh, looks like we've got fiends starting. Regular fiends aren't as bad, but they're not fun. Behemoths, sirens. I can't remember if those are the exact names, but the archetypes are the, the same. Fifty-three, we can start fighting Sea Hedoras and High Hedoras if we want to try and get a Hedora Rock. Those are also scary fights. Um, if I get a Deadly Rod first, I may consider it. But at this point, we're probably not going to be fighting Hedoras for fun and profit. They're only there because I made that comment, aren't they? Well, they're back in this room, so 
we can decide as we, or once we clear the rest of this floor. I can get back attacks. This is this is me doing the rationalization of well if I can get back attacks, this is this is great. <laughs> The important part is if I can get back attacks. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I just realized I think high Hidoras are the ones that actually drop Hidora rocks. So there's actually no point in fighting them at this level. I think it's a few floors down when we get to this to the actual high Hidoras that we're gonna want to do that. Good. Maxim should be faster. Awesome. Okay. I think those are just regular Cyclops at this point which is fine. They're not too bad, but they, they're kind of like the T-Rex. They hit hard. Behemoths are probably the least dangerous enemy in this area. Enemy in this area. But they are very reliant on us getting those instant kills. They're very defensive. Hey, we got an Earth Fruit. If we wanted to, uh, if we wanted to switch over and start leveling Zeppi, or not Zeppi, I'm sorry, Zeppi. I won't confuse with Gusto ever again. <laughs> sorry, please, please accept my apology. That was a joke because Gusto is awful. not find very many green cores when we were at that point. We're not quite at the point for no cores. That'll be next floor. Uh, but our levels are actually about where I want to be. Low end of where I want to be, but where I want to be nonetheless. <laughs> we still don't have a lot in the way of actual jelly kill. I don't think that Deadly Sword Headrock is going to get us there. But we still have a lot of floors to go. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm very confused. Um, so that's what I would like to drop. Is it like a confused ball? There we go. Super concerned about this. I'm pretty sure that level two is where we want him to be. Um, I don't like the fact that my blue chest items are all mixed in. <laughs> Keep him as Blue Titan while we're traveling, at least. Um, we'll switch him back for the boss. His stats are going to be higher as Blue Titan. going to be the start of no cores. We should still have uh, Hedoras available. Okay. That's not bad. We can deal with that. The physical attacks are what we don't want them to do. Because they do six. But if they just do the blast, then we're not in too bad a shape. be able to deal with that.
Another magic fruit? There's a small part of me that seriously just wants to see if we can get M-Class Gusto with- if we keep- if our inventory gets full again, let's say. Let's see if we can get an M-Class Gusto just because. Uh, Dread is an instant death spell, so that actually can be very good. Um, gives Artie a way without us having the deadly rod. Gives Artie a way to do the thing. Got in first. Never mind, I was thinking of a different spell. That's bad. We got lucky. That's good. And we got a Hedora Rock. Awesome. So Hedora Rock, uh, I was talking in the earlier video about the Cancer Rock that lets you do two attacks. Hedora Rock lets you do three. So as far as finishers go, it is not top tier, but it is one of the best regular items you can find. Might be a good way to put it. We got one no core encounter and it didn't go well. They ran away. <laughs> um, we're at 33. Recommended level at this point for speedrun is 32. So we're right on the level. Right on the recommended level, which means. If I was as good as most of the spe those speedrunners, uh, we'd be in good shape. Given that I am not, uh, we are in not as good shape. Nothing new. Lots of scary enemies. That gives us a chance. Uh, Mythblade is a fractional weapon. Does one quarter health. guys are warm eyes. They are very annoying. They get two actions and they move very quickly on the map. Uh, I think we're just gonna go down the next floor here. The salamanders can be nasty if they get to attack. As well. Especially now that we've got that myth blade, I'm feeling a much, much better. Um... 
currently our plan for jelly would be Mythblade, Deadly Sword, Hidora Rock, and Zap. I'd probably give Maxim the Hidora Rock right now. No. Maybe. Wait, no, he's got the deadly right now. That's awful. That was a lot of damage. That's kind of terrifying. Dragons are scary in this game. Yeah, I'm not sure we have enough damage still overall, but I'm feeling much better. At this point, we don't actually have anything... That's one way to get experience. I forgot about Energy Wave, so if we got Energy Wave Trick Turn 1, I feel like I'd have a chance. That's probably the best way to put it. Wrong floor. <laughs> oh. You know, party rooms... Party rooms can be great. But there is a point where you just kind of go, You know, that's a lot of enemies, and I don't feel like it's worth my time. That's a gold golem. Those are probably one of the scariest enemies in the game. White dragons are very fast, but other than that, they are not that bad. They even got a holy fruit, too. And ye shall receive. Holy crap. Okay, Lizard Blow uh, is a sword that has a three times attack. Um, we'll still open treasures along the way, but at this point, I am much more focused on the fact that we might actually be able to get a jelly kill here. 
than I am on trying to open every treasure chest. Uh, Lizard Blow is powerful and does three times damage. Uh, Myth Blade is powerful and does one quarter damage. Um, Hedora Rock, we've got. I'm not sure whether Hedora Rock would be better. I think Hedora Rock would be better than Lizard Blow, but Lizard Blow may actually just be powerful enough. Okay, it's not quite. Oh, Mythblade is as powerful as Sword, or as that's. Uh. As the Sky Sword. Uh, Lizard Blow is not quite. I think we've got two ways that we could potentially go here. One of them is in... Oh, never mind. Okay. I was saying, both of them involving Cyclops guarding doors, but it looks like we managed to dodge it. Unless there's something up here... Yeah. It must be down behind this one. That is about the best thing he could have done. That it, it does increase speed, which could be scary if we have to go into round two, but he basically wasted a turn, so at worst, that is probably at best. Just another Dudley. Um, I think... So we're getting pretty far here. If they're gonna give me the opening, I'll take it. Um... Also getting close to where I would normally take a break. That's an old armor. That is awesome. Uh, it's very important for uh, one primary reason, and that is it is a armor that gives plus 20 to attack. So whoever is using our uh, either Lizard Blow or Hedora Rock will be using that as Counter Rod. So I think we're going to finish this floor, which shouldn't take long since the exit's right there. Uh, and then 
we'll start the next video. That'll be at level seven or at floor 72, which is kind of where Endgame starts for this, uh, because that is where we start running into pretty much the enemies we're going to be fighting for the rest of the for the rest of the run, which are dragons, genies, archfiends, and just to be clear, when I say fighting, I mean desperately trying to avoid fighting because oh god, oh god, we're all going to die. So, hopefully you are still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.